Hi guys, it's Audrey and today I'm going to be spending 24 hours in my brother's bedroom. Hi Jake. Hey. So you're going to be spending 24 hours in my room? Well, here's some rules. You're going to have to feed Dan and Krabby. Okay. And while you're here, you can make slime for me and Ty. Oh, this. fun. The rest of the ingredients is hidden in my room. Wait, the ingredients aren't in here? Nope. That's it? Yep. Okay, well. So I actually just ate breakfast right now and I'm gonna start the 24 hours. So do you wanna spend 24 hours in here too or are you going? No, no way. Okay. <laughs> do is make some slime with the slime kit that Jake gave me. He's hidden them throughout the room and so I have to find all the supplies. And I've never used a slime kit before but it looks like we're going to be making some galaxy slime. So right off the bat I already see one. <laughs> this one's pretty easy to find just because <laughs> you can see it through the glass. Luckily it's not in Dan's cage. Okay. I love this color. Okay, we've got purple. Let's see, where else could the other ones be? Okay, this looks like it could be put into slime. Maybe like snow, like fluffy cloud slime. I don't know. I don't know all the different kinds of slime. I'm Sandy Jordan. <laughs> um, here's a bowl. I can mix it in. What else? What is this? Iron? Nope, is not it. Um, we could put some worms. <laughs> How about not? <laughs> Where else? Okay, maybe it's on Jake's bed. Where would he hide all the blue? Oh! Here's a blue one. Blue glitter glue. And I've never made slime with glitter glue before just because Jordan told me that it didn't really work well. I hope this isn't a fail. I know that there's one more glitter glue in this kit because there's a pink one on the front cover. So where could that be? Oh my. You thought under my bed was messy? My brothers have a whole new level of messiness. I'm not even gonna go travel underneath that bed because I can't really see if there's anything that I'll need. There's a lot of books. Where could the last Ingredients B. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> what? How did that even get up there? I can't reach that! <laughs> Wait, how am I gonna do this? Let's see. <laughs> I need help. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if I like stand on this. Oh, I got it. Okay, we got all of our glues, but I still need activator. <laughs> okay, where could the activator be? Hmm, let's see. Baking soda. Contacts, contact one solution. So I still have to find baking soda, contact one solution. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Logan, do you know where it's at? <gasps> Wait, I think I found a bit. Contact solution! Okay, Logan, do you know where the baking soda is at? Um. Hmm. <gasps> oh, it is underneath this bed! Baking soda. All right, I think we have all the supplies to start making the slime. All right, you guys, so the first step into making this slime is to pour a whole bottle of glue into a container. I hope it's big enough. And I, I can't decide which color I want to use, so I think I'm going to use all the colors and mix them together. Hopefully the color will be pretty. Um, so I'm just going to use a third of all the blues. Usually I don't really like purple. Like it, Purple's not like my favorite color, but this is like really pretty. Okay, that's probably enough purple. Comment down below, what is your favorite color? Purple, pink, or blue? You got three options. <laughs> Mine is... Not any of those, but if I had to pick, it'd probably be blue out of these three options. All right, blue. Bloop. Ooh. It 
It's so weird. This looks like hair gel, like sparkly hair gel. Okay, got some blue. Now for the pink. All right, so what is step number two? Add half a teaspoon, oh, add half a tablespoon of baking soda and mix thoroughly. So we got our baking soda and a tablespoon. We only need half of this. Wait, this is a teaspoon. How many teaspoons in half a tablespoon? The answer is 1.5 teaspoons. Okay, 1.5 teaspoons. I don't think I've ever made slime like this before. So I hope it turns out. Oh, well. This will be my partial half. That should be enough, I hope. Okay, stirry, stirry. Whoa, it's like rainbow unicorn. It's like unicorn slime. Okay, it hasn't done anything so far. So I think contact solution is gonna be my activator. Add one and one four tablespoon of contact solution. All right, you guys, so I'm adding the contact solution. That's one. You gotta mix it while you do it. I've learned this many, oh, whoa. It's already, it's already turning into slime. Towel. I'm gonna take it out and start playing with it. I hope this is activated enough. Ooh, it's so cool. It's like a light purple. Okay, we might need one more. Let's take a teaspoon. Soak up the contact solution. Actually, so far, I would recommend using the slime kit. It's really pretty. I love all the sparkles in it. And I think it's gonna work. So, bonus Jonas, because that's what, I mean, that's the whole point of making slime, is for it to work. Oh yeah, that is amazing. Okay, did you see Luggy? Look. Oh, this is super cool slime. I think if Jordan was here, she would definitely approve of the slime. I give this a thumbs up. All right, so now that we've made our slime, I think we should play with the pets in his room. So, we have Dan over here. So Dan is a salamander, he's a tiger salamander. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to play with him today, we can see, just because he's been hibernating, and so he's pretty much underneath the dirt sleeping. But we also have Mr. Krabby over here, and he's a hermit crab. So, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to play with him today. All right, this is Mr. Krabby's home. He has been digging a lot. Wow. What is this? Oh my gosh, he buried his food bowl. <laughs> Mr. Krabby, I think we need to redecorate his home. Where is he? He's buried underneath here somewhere. I hope he didn't escape. <laughs> Oh, I found him! I found him! Oh, Mr. Krabby. Oh, I found him! Here he is. Wow, he's very messy right now. I have not held Mr. Krabby for a while, so I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, we should take him out so he could play. We'll put him on this towel. Mr. Krabby, come out! Let the world see your shiny little claw! <laughs> I think he's a little camera shy. He's probably been sleeping, we just woke him up. Come on, Mr. Krabby. Maybe if we get him some treats, he'll come out. So we have these, we have these crab cookies that he loves to eat. So I'll just put one right here. So hopefully he'll find the cookie and eat it. But look, look at his habitat. I'm fixing it up for him. Hopefully he will like it when he goes back in or maybe he probably will just destroy it. But it's the thought that counts. Ah! Hi, Mr. Krabby! 
He's so big, he's bigger than I expected. Last time I saw him, he was not that giant. Please eat it. My goodness, look at his I'm like little sensors. <laughs> Mr. Krabby's coming for you. These indoor voices. It's very sensitive. This took him like 20 minutes, literally. Okay, well, Mr. Krabby is feeling a little bit crabby. Doesn't want to come out and say hi to everyone. So, let's go get some lunch first and then decide if we should wake up Dan. <laughs> All right, so I just texted my brother to come get my lunch. Hopefully he comes soon. Jake! Lunch, please! <gasps> okay. What's for lunch? Uh, Yogurt and cheese. <laughs> lots of dairy products. <laughs> I got Capri Sun, Apple Crisp Twist yogurt and String cheese. I've never tried this before, so let's open it up. <laughs> Logan wants it apparently. Do you want this? Okay, I don't have anything to eat this with. Jake! Spoon, please! Alright, yummy lunch. <laughs> let's try it. This is actually pretty good. Apple crust twist. And then we've also got some string cheese. Mm, I actually like the string cheese more. And then we also got Capri Sun. Yeah. So I'm gonna finish up my lunch and then I'll come right back after eating. All right, you guys, so that lunch was really yummy. Now I'm gonna pick out a book to read and read for a while. Let's see, it's a lot of choices to choose from. I think I'm gonna read The Candy Shop Wars just because I have read this series before and it is so good. I would recommend this book if you have not read it yet and you're looking for a good book. All right, let's go read. Which bed should I choose? I'll choose Ty's. Ty's is the lower one. Let's get my blankets all right on there. Ugh. Oh my goodness, that's a <laughs> really crouched down in here. Can't sit up. Oh. All right, it's time to read. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's time for dinner. Has everyone already eaten? Jake! Jake! I hope he brings me food. Yeah. Jake, have you guys eaten dinner yet? Yeah, we have. What? Oh, what? What is this? Leftovers and some donuts. You brought me <laughs> hot dogs and mustard and donuts. Healthy. Okay. All right. Wow, this is nutritious. I think I must have fallen asleep while reading because I have slept for a while. Okay. Mustardy hot dog. And donut. Mm. Okay you guys, so it looks like it's getting dark. I am before I go to bed, I think I'm gonna open up some fan mail and then we'll call it a night. So I brought in two packages. Let's go get them out. So this first package is from Jalen in Colorado. And she wrote us a letter and she also included a picture of herself. She is so pretty in her package. She made two slimes for Jordan and I. The clear one is for Jordan and this slime is for me. And I'm gonna open it up and show it to you guys. Whoa! There's like little foam beads in here. Whoa, this is good slime. Aw, uh, Jordan's gonna love her slime. Thank you so much, Jalen. This next package is from Emma Lee in California and she wrote us a rainbow letter. Super 
cool. And she drew us a super awesome unicorn on the back on top of a rainbow. And inside this is something that caught my attention, you guys. It's a little piggy keychain. <laughs> and look what it does. Also in her package, she has some purple slime for Jordan and some green slime. She also drew us some pictures that says, that YouTube family, the play button, and this cute little bunny named Spot. Thank you so much, Emily. Audrey. It's time for bed. Oh, hi, Jake. Turn off the light. Okay. I guess it's time for bed. While I go to the bed, I'm gonna squish a squishy because Jake has a fry squishy on here. So I'm, gonna... I'm sleeping on Jake's bed tonight. All right. Good night, guys. Audrey, it's time to wake up. Time to wake up, Audrey! What time is it? It's morning time. Well, do you know what time it is exactly? Uh, eight? Eight? Yeah. That means my 24 hours is up then! Yay! Okay, that was actually really fun. I have found a lot of cool things to do in Jake and Ty's room that I haven't really explored yet. So, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below where else should I spend 24 hours at. And, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, turn from red to gray, and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!